to my channel. So today I'm going to be doing a much requested review. The product that we're going to be talking about today is the Milani Conceal and Perfect 2-in-1 Foundation and Concealer. So first off, as always, I want to talk about the product specs really quick. I believe that these foundations retail for about nowhere but more than $12. I want to say I picked it up in my local CVS for between $10 to $12, which for a drugstore foundation is a tad bit pricey, but compared to a higher end foundation like something that you would find at Sephora, Alter, or MAC, NARS, you know, just to name a few brands, I think that $10 to $12 is pretty reasonable. And I did end up picking up two shades. The lightest one that I got was Seven Sand. And then I also picked up the shade 910. And then here are the shades side by side for comparison. So a few of the claims for this foundation are located on the back. It says that it is medium to full coverage, lightweight, oil-free formula, long wearing, water resistant, and sweat proof. So this sounds a lot like the MAC Pro Long Wear Nourishing Waterproof Foundation, which is has to be one of my favorite foundations in terms of wear and coverage. It gives flawless coverage. A little goes a long way. I don't usually double this as concealer because I like to highlight my skin and do like a lighter concealer underneath. But for spot concealing, this is really great. And the, the claims for the MAC Pro Long Wear Waterproof are very similar to the Milani. In terms of coverage, I think that this gives amazing coverage. I will say that it definitely is medium to full. You're not going to get a completely full coverage unless you have super flawless skin and you are gonna get full coverage with almost any foundation if you don't have any blemishes to cover. But looking at my face right now, I would have to say that it is pretty flawless. Pretty flawless the only thing is that it doesn't fully cover my birthmark right here as you can see you could probably still see it coming through I don't want it to cover people always think that I'm trying to cover my birthmark but I'm not I really do feel like within four to six I want to say four to five hours I noticed that my face is shiny especially on my nose area so is it oil free I would have to say it's oil free based on their ingredient list or their claims but does it keep you oil free no not by a long shot water resistant I will say that it is resistant it is not waterproof so do not go thinking that you can get in the water and wipe your face and do all that. no if you get this wet and try to wipe your face it will come off you can't do both you can't do the smudge proof test and the waterproof test at the same time i will say that it is transfer resistant like very transfer resistant i have nothing coming off on my hand here it definitely is transfer resistant and even when i do get oily and blot it really picks up mostly the sebum from my face. It doesn't pick up too much of the product. I would have to say that my only downfall with this product is the coloring. While it looks really good right now on camera, that's because I manipulated it a little bit with concealer around the jawline and then my face powder. While the colors of these are really nice and Seven Sand is almost a dead on match for me when you initially hold it up to my face. However, when I put it on, it starts to look great but once it starts to set and oxidize these oxidize with a very very pink tone to them it's not extremely noticeable if you get a color that's pretty close to your skin tone but if you're going to use a color that is way off you're going to have to do a lot of adjusting and mixing to make sure that you have the correct color so initially i was using the shade seven sand just by itself and then using a little bit of yellow around my face but then i decided to try two pumps of the seven sand and then a half a pump of the nine tan and that actually helps to balance out the the color difference i still make sure that i put a little bit of my concealer around the perimeter of my face which does have more of a yellow tone to it so that it kind of balances everything out but i find that i don't have to do a lot of correcting and a lot of mixing when i use both of the shades together so all in all i really do like this foundation i think that it holds up well for an everyday wear 
I think that if you're someone who does not want, excuse me, my butt's falling asleep. If you're someone who's super oily, I wouldn't deter you from trying this foundation just because I feel as though it's not oil control, but that doesn't mean that it's going to make you super, super oily. It is oil free, so it's not designed to add any oil, but I don't think that it's going to control oil by any means. So you can definitely give it a shot if you're someone who has oily skin, but if you're someone who has dry skin, you're gonna like this a little bit more. I would say combination dry, not super dry because this does have kind of a, a demi matte finish to it. So that is it guys for my review on the Milani Conceal and Perfect foundations. If you have any more questions you can feel free to leave them down below. I will be doing a full more in extensive blog review so I will leave the link to my blog in the description box as well so you can check that out. Check that out before you leave a question because I may answer your question in the blog. Until my next video I will talk to you guys later. Bye.